árungur okkar fræginn. Man your oars. Take the mask yeah, down! Yeah.
has me trapped in this sultry tower. Shut your mouth! A lady you may be, but here you are my prisoner. And you will do as I say. A challenger approaches! Ew. No more! I yield! Find another champion, lady! Strange. It is over. You can come out now. Tarquin? My thing! What has happened? Your captor fled. Felt a little soft for my liking. What are you really doing in there? Oh, God, no! It was only a game! A romp! My dear Tarquin, how could you? I saw a man holding you against your will. All a part of the seduction! <laughs> oh, God. You really thought my life was in danger? And you risked your own. Oh, you. Oh, you are so brave. A fine protector. Tell me you're joking. Please, you must fight for me. Who knows what lurks below? What vile people might come to harm me? I need a protector, stout and resolute. Please, stand guard below. If I do, will you come out? Oh, assuredly. Just uh, stand at the door below. That will place you directly between me and any bad, bad men. Perfect. I feel safer already. Trouble coming. Oh, good. Real trouble. Keep quiet. Oh, woe is me! A king's daughter who had to run away from her royal house with all of its red jewels in tow! Huh? Well now, I'd say that's worth a look. Ugh. Oh -ho! Ocean steed, my words gain wings. All oh, things meet, I thought will bring. For noble deeds, thy no, neither. Brave and slain, Valkyria wakes. Reward for strain to Valhad takes. Then horns resounds the mighty horn. For those who fight, for those who fall, for those who fight, for those who fall, warlord weaves his way. 
Arab of here, each man gets his hated share of blood red surge, the warrior shield. Raven scan the battlefield. Raven scan the battlefield. The beaten blaze, our trail of bread, clothing gaze upon the dead, and horns resounds the mighty horn. Those who fight, those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty horn. For we who fight, for we who Ready bows!
Repton, Seekert should be here with the Ragnarsons. Up here! What do you see, Sunan?
You, Sigurd Drenger. Uh, Igor! Eivor. If you keep that up, I'll stain the floors. The place could use some color. <laughs> Who are they? All spies. Dressed to look the part of a peasant. Got feisty. Pitchfork. From this rabid little one. Was a time when you met and slew your enemy on the field before they could dream of things like sending fires! And now we shake hands and make deals. Not my thing. I figured. I love them whipped, weeping, and reeking of piss. Hey! Good boy. You're free, Saxon piggy, to run amok through the mercy and fields. <laughs> I would have let him down easy. Hmm. Follow me. I'll give you the door. What do you call this place? I call it the shithole. To the Mercians, it is Repton. Their most revered kings are buried below the church. Imagine their weeping when we drove them out. You plunged your knife deep into the heart of this kingdom. That is right. We've got a number of Saxon nobles lined up with their lips puckered, ready to kiss our asses. The only holdout is King Burgred and his war thane, Leofrid. But my brother is brewing a plan to deal with them. I take it that's where we'll find my brother. Right. Talkers they are, Uba and Sigurd. Might want to dig the wax from your ears. For a fool, Abba. I know Burgrind sent a Vergeld your way. Enough of your noise, Tona. We have plans to divide. I'm not going anywhere, Bakrat. You have the king on his heels because of me. Because of my men. For which you were paid. But that price does not change because you have caught a whiff of our Hexilver horde. You forget I am a sellsword. I ask what I please, and I take what I'm owed. If I wanted to hear you dog shit. I'd gouge out your tongue and shove it up your ass. Now fuck off. Haggling over silver is a bad look for the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. But worry not, Uba. I have the warriors you need. If this is one of them, my worries have vanished. Eivor, wolf kissed. 
You have come at just the right time. Upa and Ivar here are hunting a king. And when we caught him, we mean to crown another. Our dear Thane Shellwolf here. It's not a role I begged for, but it's what Mercia needs just now. A man to fairly rule both Saxons and Danes. I can't imagine the current king is too happy about all this. Burgred is furious, of course. But this is our new reality. And I won't sit idly while he drags our kingdom through the dirt. The king has refused our offers of peace. Jailwolf means to change that. There'll be a new king for a new England. For now, Burgred is holed up in his fortress at Tamworth, making a final stand. Another shithole. Only further south. We've held a siege there for weeks to no effect. So, no more knocking. Now we batter the gate to splinters. If we take Tamworth, remove Burgred and crown Shellwolf, come morning this Shire is ours. And Mercia soon after. Yes. Remove. I cannot stress that enough. Burgred is not to be harmed. My legitimacy as king hangs on this one simple fact. Uh, you rob all the joy from war, Saxon. Not every victory needs to be marked by the slaughter of a king. Ah, but it is much better. His request is fair, Ivar, and we will honor it. Jeowulf is right to be cautious. If he shows mercy to Burkret, the people will have reason to trust him. My thinking exactly. And the quicker we act, the more lives we spare. On both sides. This is a good plan, brother. I am ready for the coming fight. Agreed. Yet remember this. Whatever you stand to gain here, so do we. An alliance between my clan and Mercia's crown. See this man installed on his throne and you will have it. I swear. The bold sons of Ragnar bellow to sound the spear din and the thunder of shields. So let fall the arrow storm. The battle begins. Ah! You never said this one was a poet. I need to piss. We have a forward camp just north of Tamworth. Will you go with us? Lead the way. Take in the sights of Repton if you like. We will be at the docks when you are ready to go. I'm glad you and your brother have come, if only to bring some measure of calm. Ease yourself, Cheowulf. We all stand to benefit, and you'll be remembered for this for years to come. For all the wrong reasons, I fear. A lively town. Quite a lot to see here. I'll gather my things and meet you in Tamworth as soon as it's over.
So, some of us are staying behind as I hear it. Half the army's already in Tamworth, and we've now got help from the south. It's our lot to look after this place now, to protect her. Shame. Wanted to see the look on Burgred's face when we stormed his fortress. Now we'll just hear big tales, told by drunken heroes. I hope to see you again soon. I have to go. See you soon.
Sail southeast. Bring the men to the gates of Tamworth. We'll flood the fields. And Burgred shall weep at the sight of what the future holds for this kingdom. Eivor, is your axe sharpened? I'm ready for the spear din. And the thunder of shields, yes. It's good to have you with us. To fight beside such legends is an honor. I've only heard tales of your conquests. Now I get to live them. We'll weave our sagas together. Thread upon thread. Come on, boy. We'll forge a man from your softness. Hammered on the anvil of war. One does war. not need to fight to be Move. a... Move! Calm, Ivar. The fight's not here. Aye. The fight is nowhere to be found in this boy. A boy who happens to be Chelwulf's son. Why is he not in his quarters? Our future king wants a battle-hardened heir. Time he proves his worth, don't you think? Not yet crowned king, and already grooming his successor. That shows some boldness. Right. And bold kings need bolder sons. Ivar! He comes with us. And should anything happen to this little sprout, I will bear the punishment our future king inflicts. He'll want to remove your head. Haha, <laughs> you hear that, boy? You die, and I'll have to kill your father, too. Mount up, Eivor. It's a long ride to Tamworth. You'll have to endure, my brother. He always finds new ways to humor himself. I'll keep that in mind. And both eyes open. You smell that, Chelber? The stink of jealousy. Of our budding friendship, I think. What is Jailwolf's son doing in Repton at all? It's Jailwolf's way of proving his loyalty. And there's no safer place for a traitor and his son in the middle of a pack of Danes. Say, from who? You and Ivar seem to have brought this Shire to hell. Beards are with us, the common folk. But Urgred still has his soldiers all over mercy. They're devoted to him, and they'll die defending him. Your voice, Eivor. You sound different than the brothers. Good ear, Lord. Most in England cannot tell the difference. But not all Danes are Danes. From where do you come, if I may ask? North of the Danelands. A place called Fonberg, in Norway. I didn't know there was land north of there. What are the people like? You ever see a herd of sheep follow each other off the edge of a cliff? They're like that. The ones who remained, anyway. Couldn't have said it better myself. Was this a mass exodus from Norway, then? It was. Norway is now the province of a young king, Harald by name. A boy wise beyond his years. Are you not angry that he has displaced you and so many others? I was, for a time. But our weeks at sea have softened my brow fire. If I am honest, I realize I quite admire King Harald, by words and by weapons both. He has pacified the country I call home. For the first time in any man's memory, or any scald song, Norway has one king. Just one. And that is quite a feat. That is impressive, truly. England is half the size of Norway, and yet we have four kings for our four kingdoms. You see? How could I not be impressed? No, Harald is a good man with grand ideas. I can see that now. I am only six years his junior, and have yet to see my first battle. I cannot imagine the skill and cunning he has. Your first battle is coming, young Chelbert. From this day on, you may see rapid progress. I'm not sure I want so swift a rise. In truth, Chelbert, it is my father who bears the heaviest weight of my anger. Not King Harold, 
My father gifted my birthright to Harold without my consent or knowledge. As easily as if he might hand over a barrel of meat. It was not merely a deception. It was a betrayal of trust. The prick of which still stings me. Be it a blessing or a curse, family is always first. A good line, boy. Were you not an Adeling, I would hire you as my scold. Scold? It sounds something like Scott, our court poets. Is that what you mean? Right again. Fascinating. The harmony between our words and yours is quite something. As if we were distant cousins, separated by an ocean of time as well as space. <laughs> I like the thought of that. I do. Look at these pagan rats. Ravenous, unseemly beasts teeming over holy ground. Have a care, Lord. These pagan rats are numbers. I can see that, fool. What do we do about them? I advise we strongly consider their demands, Lord. We won't survive a fight. Is that you, Leofrid? How quickly you recover! I'm beginning to wonder if it is a man or a god beneath all that armor. A man of God stands before you, Eva. Proud and resolute. That's Burgred's war thing. Killed a dozen of our men in an ambush along the River Trent. It was Ivar's ex that stopped him. That is a poor description of a perfect 30-yard toss. Enough jawing, heathens! Speak your peace! We've come for your crown, Lord. With or without your head attached. Ha, I admire your ambition, Pagan. But what you ask is impossible. No Dane ever has or ever will occupy Mercia's sacred throne. Not to worry. We have a Mercian of our own. Jail wolf, you mean? Ha! <laughs> when I'm done with you lot, I'll execute that foolish thane for treason! My king, may I suggest a more measured approach to this? I grow weary of this palaver. You have trampled our lands, toppled our monuments. We've given you silver, fed your people. And yet, in spite of all this, your encroachment on my kingdom continues! No more! We will die defending what is ours, whatsoever the cost! If you want my crown, Uber Ragnarsson, you must pry it from the hands of my bloodless corpse! Man the walls! Back to the camp! Round up the men. We're taking Tamworth tonight!
Eivor, tell the captain we're ready to march. Eivor and I will round up the men. Uh, what you know your way idiot. around the batsman ram. I've seen them in action. I want you at the helm of ours. I'm strong and agile. I'll be there. As will I. Don't wander off now. Let's make short work of this, Eivor. England is a big place. Lord, light my way. Fancy a game of all, Rob? I'm eager to see you fight, Eivor. Show us old wolves a thing or two. Looking for a worthy challenger. Orlock, there is a player in every port and city. Got your attention, didn't I? <laughs> Come, let's play. There are other things I must do. Farewell. Bugger off then, Dane. Hey, Eivor, first one to board Red gets to string him up by his dangly man wattle, then jab him in his fat head. Let's get through these walls first, Eivor. Who are you? I'm with the Reknesons. It's time to roll out the battering ram. Birgrid wanted to fight. Now we'll give him one. Are you ready to march now? I'm not yet ready. Do what you must, but return quickly. Our men are ready to move. Care to test your skill at Orlog? I do miss the rattling of luck bones. A worthy challenger. Play me. I need my daily entertainment. <laughs> Let's begin. Very well then. Let us start.
How did you do that? anyone I've played against. We must cross bones again. Come. That is enough Orlok for now. <laughs> 